and you end up getting a negative square, uh, square root of a negative number, what can you do? Well, first of all, I want you guys to understand here, um, I can break up the square root of 25, or negative square root of 25. I can rewrite that as 25 times negative 1. Do you guys agree with me that under the radical, 25 times negative 1 is the same thing as negative 25? Yes. So that agrees with me. Yes? No? Now what's nice about this, since, remember when we did the separation by multiplication and separation by addition? Some things work for addition, which they don't work for addition, or some things work for multiplication, they don't work for addition. Here, I can take the square root of 25 and the square root of negative 1 separately. If they were separated by addition or subtraction, you could not do that. That's what everybody does. They do it for a multiplication. They think they can do it for addition and subtraction. But since these are separated by multiplication, I can do the square root of 25 times the square root of negative 1. So what's the square root of 25? 5. Five. What's the square root of negative 1? That's your answer. Wait, so negative one square, is square root of negative 1 is i. And i is always i. That's what i equals. Yep. Oh, so anytime I don't 1 is in a square root of negative 1. 